Hey everyone, it's an aging zombie here, bringing you some more Modern Warfare Zombies content. Season 3 is here, and unfortunately, just like Season 2, Zombies doesn't get the content until the reloaded update for Season 3. Uh, which is fine, it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. We do have two new guns, and this uh, new Horix, what Horix? Horus is fantastic, it's amazing. I haven't unlocked the new sniper yet, but I am working towards that. But in today's video, I wanted to go in and try to get the VR-11 case. I still do not have the schematic for this. It's the last schematic I need. So figured, go in here, try and get it. I've only been to the Elder Sigil uh, once, and I was lucky enough to get the Bloodburner key and the Mags of Holding schematic. So going in, we'll see how many times it takes to get the last schematic that I need. So let's jump into it. Okay, so just head straight to tier three, start farming contracts. This gun is so nice. I don't know about anyone else, but it feels like lately, the lobby is either all in tier 3, or like 90% of it's in tier 3, or I actually do get the place to myself, and there's like no in between. That's just how I feel at least. I want to get up here and check this crate out. Uh, let's take that for now, just in case. Turret mods are always pretty nice to carry um, when you're in tier 3 because you never know when you run into a mega and if there's a oh excuse me a little burp burp pick up oh. um, if there happens to be a turret mod near the mega or a turret thing it's so fantastic to use I think initially I thought like Oh no, my pride! I gotta, I gotta take down these with you know my gun with my wits. But now I'm like, you know what? No, I'm just taking it down the quickest way I possibly can. That should be all the self revives I need. It's just crazy how different tier 3 is when you have like ether blade and golden plates. It is a night and day difference of how much easier it is. Ooh, hell yeah. Part of me wants to just equip it now. I'm gonna equip it now. These ones. Let's just get both. crazy how many more spawn when you try and do more than one at once. Like that's why I usually typically do just one at a time because I feel like it helps control the flow of zombies that are spawning. But every now and then, you know, especially something like that where they're really close to each other, I'll throw out um, one on each. But man, it just seems, and compared to doing it just one, one at a time, it feels, oh my goodness gracious. Uh, 
Yeah, we're taking that. Uh, it feels like there's way more that spawn doing two at once than two individually. That's just what I think, though. Marking contract. So this will be good for if I have to do another run. I mean, I feel like I've, at least on Reddit, I've seen, you know, posts about getting various schematics in this new Dark Aether, Aether, and, uh, you know, it seems to just vary that some people are like, oh, yeah, I got it fairly quickly. It took me like three or four tries. Other people are like, oh, it took me 11 tries to get everything. So, I don't know, it seems fairly just different. So, we'll see what my luck is like. Because I've been in just to the tier 4 Dark Aether quite a few times. But Elder, I haven't really... I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure this will be my second time going into the Elder. I could be wrong and I could be off by one. Maybe it's my third, but I'm pretty sure it's my second. Ooh, cool. Going. I got a mangler fighting for me. It was fantastic. And this is why having a turret mod is always nice. Let me drop that one. I think I can drop one more. Okay, rucksack is full. Yeah, I can buy wait. I can buy two more. So. I should be fine with just three self revives plus most of the uh, reward rifts do end up giving a self revive anyway. So even if I go down, I should be able to complete whatever I'm on and then uh, get a new one. Watch I say that and now uh, none of them are going to spawn a self revive. <laughs> it's going to be my luck. Or I'm gonna go down here, my goodness. Oh, perks. I need perks. Where's the perk machine? I think there's one uh, nearby. I think there's one. Oh, no. Only there's one here. So we'll go back to this one. Oh, someone already went here. Here we go. Omega. Let's throw it here. Drops on mark. Send it. Oh, I'm gonna go down. Ah, I feel like 90% of the time, you know, even in just like the regular the tier four, because the only one I've been in, I go down as I'm trying to get the juggernaut, which then makes me wonder, like, should I not even try and do this? It's a kind of a relatively losing strategy. Like, it's a guaranteed win once you get it, but I always go down. Uh, let me take the key just in case I, the elder in case I don't get it, the schematic that is. Shoot. 
want to be able to see what's in here. That's the blood burner schematic, but I already have that. All right, so I'm out of here. Oh, there's a self revive though. I'm stupid. Let's go back. Huh. Need that. Yeah, don't need anything else. Okay, I'm out. See? Pretty much always a self revive. So even though using the Juggernaut seems to be a losing strategy because I go down pretty much every time as I wait for it, I should always get a self revive back, so does it just like even itself out, essentially? By the way, I didn't mention, there's the news about, um... Season 3 Reloaded, that is, we are getting an increase to the stash size, and when you extract with Essence, it'll go towards cooldown of all your classifieds, or not just classified, but uh, the crafting in general, which is fantastic. Uh, I think that is such a fantastic change. Why didn't we get that earlier? But can't complain too much. Get this guy down really quick before I interact with the thing. Might be a bad idea. Okay, here we go. I feel like there's so many times I extract and I've got like 30 plus thousand essence. And so now that 30,000 essence just doesn't feel like it's wasted, which is fantastic. I mean, I'm still excited and hoping for a wallet system. But I kind of feel like, well, does the change of extracting essence going towards cooldown, are they going to scrap the wallet system then? Because is it going to be kind of like, oh, well, we don't want to, like, double dip the using of the essence thing? I don't know. I hope not. Because I have the ether blade and the golden plates, I'm not having to use as many casimirs in here. Let's just use one. Because I can. Fight off this mangler. Oh, you're just gonna stay there. Okay. What do you have for me? Reward rift. Just a blood burner key. Nah. Alright, one more shot at this. Don't need that. Still have the Aether Blade and the Kazis. Okay. Well, it's a bummer on the first two. Let's hope the third one gives. Wait, why does my, like, gun have this weird effect on it? Like, the glowing gold stuff? What is that? Weird. Still inspecting it? Yeah? Hmm? It's still there. Oh, hold on. Now it's gone. Oh yeah, now it's gone. <laughs> Weird.
Oh boy, that's that's a, that's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was the most I've ever seen. Jeez. It's pre-throw. <laughs> I've got so many spares. Let's throw one this side. One on this side. That didn't really bounce like I wanted it to, but that's okay. One more so that I can check this portal safely. Uh, no, I don't want to use that. So... The R11 plans. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Yes. Oh, that's fantastic. I'm so happy. Hello, Horde. I'm so happy. And I've got Casimir still. Let's go. Well, that has got to be pretty damn lucky going in like that and getting it. I'm pretty sure that was my second run in the Dark Elder. Might have been my third. I honestly don't remember. But getting it that early, especially because now it's random as compared to, you know, the previous season when we got the Dark Aether. Uh, it, you know, you just had to complete each contract and it was kind of a guarantee. Um, with this one being random, it's really nice that I got it relatively that quick. Uh, and then I also now unlocked the uh, new sniper, so I can start using that. I've seen videos of people pack-a-punching it, and it's just like explosions. Boom, boom, boom. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, and now I have everything unlocked, which is nice. Very cool. Glad I got that done. Now it's just a waiting game for Season 3 Reloaded. We actually get some new stuff. So... Hope everyone enjoyed the video. Till the next one, peace.